Zendaya oh. slayed the Emmys. The beautiful world of Jeffree Star, the trailer dropped this That's week. That's why we've got Scotty and Toddy from the vlog squad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a hoop, and a hoop. And a hoop. Hello, what's up guys? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. And I'm Susan Morad, and thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We have such a cool show in store for you guys. Oh my god, it's so much fun today because we have Scotty and Toddy from the Vlog Squad. They're joining us on the couch later, but so much more. So much more, but first we're gonna jump straight into the tea. We didn't bring any snacks this week because we've got so much tea on the show. On so the day I'm hungry, we have no snacks. No, oh, he finally wants to eat something with me. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into our first story, you guys. Zendaya. Oh. Slayed the Emmys, uh, inspired by Poison Ivy. Her look was incredible. Susan, when she walked onto that carpet, I swear to God, time stopped. Her outfit, like she was glowing. It was incredible. She looked amazing and fans also agreed and everybody mm. was just so shook how much she looked like Poison Ivy. Yeah. To the point that they were calling on DC to actually cast her as the next Poison Ivy in the upcoming Batman movie. Well, some people were saying that she might actually be in talks to audition, which how cool would it be if she's like in the Spider-Man universe and then also in Poison Ivy? I don't know if she can be in both. <laughs> anyway, 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 technicalities. But also Rihanna was someone that there were yeah. a lot of like rumors earlier this year that she was in talks mm -hmm. to play Poison Ivy. Not confirmed. She said they right. hadn't called her yet, but if they are down to call her, she's up for it because Poison Ivy is one of her obsessions. Mm -hmm. So we can't see whoever plays Poison Ivy. We are down. Listen, Rihanna, Zendaya, I could go with either one. They're like a dynamic duo, and we have a dynamic duo here in studio. Yes, that's right. We've got Scotty and Toddy from the Vlog Squad joining us right here on the couch for Celebrity Lowdown. Come on over. Wait, Susan, can't call me. We have to make room oh, first. Oh, okay, yeah. We've got, we've on, got the couch. on the couch. Ooh. How hey, are you guys? Welcome. We are terrible. How are you? No. Terrible. I got a bit of a cough. Let me go on the edge so I can cough oh, okay. away from everyone. Okay, cool. no, I'm, I'm just squad. kidding. We're good. This nice. is the first time we've had four people on the couch. So I this know. is very exciting. Wow. It's a cozy it's couch though, right? It's a cozy yeah. couch. Uh, you guys just got back from Australia. Yes. How was that? Amazing. Was Amazing. Uh, I was trying to do an Australian accent, but I couldn't get just it. Just try. Now, now that you're, yeah. Um, pack your car. What's now. that? <laughs> She's like, no, that's not Sorry. good. No, no, no. You guys are <laughs> crazy out there. Yeah. Australians are just get after it. You're calling Australians crazy? They're crazy, yeah. In a good way. In a good in way. In a good way, yeah. You're supposed to be the fun. crazy ones. You're yeah. supposed to be the crazy ones. No. What uh, were you guys doing in Australia? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we played two shows. We played uh, a show at VidCon, and then we played my first show, of, or our first show, of the What's Going On tour, which we're going on. What's Going On oh, tour. Whoa, I see the merch. You yeah. have a new album. Tell us about the new album. The new album is called What's Going On. Oh. Least, yeah. <laughs> There's 10 songs in the album, and it's all very, you know, open and honest and talks about mental health and my struggles going through life. And Toddy, you've got a book that's about to come out. Mm -hmm. I do. It's called, I'll give you a dollar if you consider this art. I love that name. Yeah. Yeah. What, Thank is you. That, what does that like mean? We really actually care about like the art and like whatever you're doing. And like creating stuff, whether it's videos, writing or anything, and just actually doing it for the joy of doing it. This whole thing has like literally my soul, his soul inside that. And we've been working on this for like nonstop for a while and it's finally happening. I have to read uh, this quote in the back from David Dobrik. It says, you guys owe me a dollar. <laughs> I love that. I should consider it art. Most people ask me what it's about and I think the best answer is it depends what page you're on. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> Speaking of pages, let's talk a little bit about your vlog squad life. Like we were saying, it's, it's almost like a different page of your life. How did you guys meet David? I met David at a burger place in Hollywood when he was 17. I was actually like friends with this girl. She was friends with Zane, and she's like, oh, you wanna get dinner with my friend Zane? And then David came, and I sat next to David, and we like hit it off and bonded over this actress that we thought we thought we saw that we had a crush on. I was gonna say, and you then, both had a crush yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> so, who was the actress? Chloe Grace Moretz. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she's so cute. What do you guys think of TikTok? Cause I know you're both active on TikTok, <laughs> and like, you know, you were on Vine before, and, yeah. and you know, it is like a much shorter medium, yeah. but like, what are your thoughts on TikTok? I, I love TikTok, yeah. it's fun. They're like off the wall comedy. Yeah. And, and it does remind me of some of the old vines. Yeah. We've actually been yeah. having a real laugh at the uh, the Visco, Visco girls. girls. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a hoop, and a hoop. <laughs> we to, we've been like circulating that around the office and it just doesn't get old. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Can you give us your best Visco girl? I want like one from each of you, a Visco girl oh, we have the I know we actually want to bring you the scrunchies. scrunchie. Oh, you don't have a Hydro Flask? Here, have one of mine. And I, and I, and I, ooh, no scrunchie? Okay, here, take a scrunchie. I don't even need it anymore, it's fine. I like saving the environment, and that's why I use my Hydro Flask, and I, ooh. <laughs> 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 that's so that good. Was really good. I've actually never 
Nabisco Girl video. You have that it? was a yes. perfect impersonation. Oh, you, really you've good. watched it so many it's times. Addictive. <laughs> it's addictive. I've seen it so once addictive. or twice. <laughs> Damn, oh, I man. Too. That, that was, was good. good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's play this game. We want to play a game. We like to call what happens on tour stays on tour until you're on the celebrity lowdown couch and that's when you get to tell us about it. So I know you guys are about to head off on tour oh, and you have already started your tour in Australia. I'm sure you guys have toured before. So um, kicking it off, what's been one of the craziest tour experiences that you've had? Well, Australia, the most recent one was crazy. There was something to do every single night and we were out of our element, you know, we were out of the country. So that was pretty nuts. From I think there's probably something more nuts than that that you can share with us. Hmm. Someone gave us kangaroo nuts, the meet and greet. That was yeah. pretty nuts. <gasps> really? Yeah. yeah. They were fake. But they oh. Were fake. <laughs> oh. I was like, did you <laughs> eat minute. them? Because people, you can eat kangaroo in Australia. They were supposed oh, to be the Good nuts, luck. No? Like a, like a know, bunny maybe. foot. <laughs> foot. <laughs> so have you had any obsessed fan experiences while on tour? Or in general, really? Because. In general is when people come, they used to come to our house and someone knocked on the door at like 10 p.m. and I opened the door and it, she, she was like, I know you said not to come to your house, but I came to your house. <laughs> like, and then weird. what did you say? Like, I said, okay, well, can you leave? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was scary because people like show up like every night and every day. Has something happened on tour that you've just thought, oh my God, nobody can find out about this? Well, yeah. I usually try to hide the fact that I I've had to poop like 10 times before a show. Oh. And that is, I guess, a lie that my underwear is not wet by the time I get on stage because my butt sweats. Thing. I'm just processing that whole sentence. <laughs> just, of like, I, what did he just say? I'm just, I, I was thinking about poop and then I thought about bum sweat, sweat and mm -hmm. I'm yeah, just nobody like wants, wet pants. Nobody and I'm wants like, to hear this, right? <laughs> so. We want to hear this. We're <laughs> here for you. Speaking of pants, actually, one of, my, one of our questions was when you're on tour, if you run out of clean underwear, do you just keep wearing the same underwear or do you go without? I think I was gonna buy some new underwear on tour. Okay. You know, and just throw the old out. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I do run out, I generally would buy new underwear. I can't go underwearless. You've heard about my problem now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Should we play the game? Yeah. Super so cool. all about the vlog squad. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna fire off questions and you just need to answer with the first name that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna oh, kick it off? Man. I will. Who's most likely to get married first? Aaron. Oh. Yeah, definitely Aaron because <laughs> hers is already planned. <laughs> most I, changed since Vine. I think Scott. Yeah, most Scott. Most likely to quit YouTube first. Me. Oh well. Wow. That was great. Why? Because he wrote a book. He's a rock star. <laughs> He's That's moving true. on. <laughs> Who's most likely to get cancelled? Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Why? Been several times cancelled. He just he just likes saying what he likes to say. <laughs> um, who's the most likely to get a traditional TV show? Jason. Uh, yeah, Jason. I think Jason yeah. would or be me. the most down for it. Down to do it. <laughs> or you? Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah Todd. Own it. Call it out. Yeah. yeah. Who's most likely to end up in an online scandal? Corinna. Yeah, Corinna. I can see Corinna promoting some beauty product that causes, or, or like promoting something that maybe could cause, I don't know, somehow turns into something. I don't know. Skinny bunny I tea should, or something. Yeah, skinny I don't know. Bunny. Skinny, bunny, skinny bunny tea. Who's the most likely to have their nudes leaked? Todd. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. That didn't take it. See, that was a fire answer. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. This has been so much that fun. That was really fun. Yeah. You Thanks have to come back. We will it. come back. Yeah. So, are we like now honorary members of the vlog squad, too? Yeah. Is that yeah. How it works? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Surprise. We're in. Yeah. yeah. That would down. be fun. I'm down. totally down for that. Well, thanks so much. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having us. Have a great tour. Us. Great launch. We're yeah. looking forward to seeing you guys just smash it. Hopefully. Oh, you, will. Yeah, you will. You will. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks again. Scotty and Toddy. See you. Scotty and Toddy. What's going on? From I'll give you a dollar if you consider this art. Oh my gosh, Susan, that was so much fun. So much we fun. have to check this book out though. Maybe yes. we should start like a book club, just the two of us. You know, like I'll give you a dollar and you give me a dollar. Give me a dollar, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> I need a dollar, a dollar. A I dollar is love what that I need, song baby. so much, <laughs> Aloe Black. Okay, but guys, speaking of love, I love something that dropped this week. We loved it. The world loved it. The beautiful world of Jeffree Star. The trailer dropped this week. Shane Dawson's new series. He also announced it's gonna start October 1st. So yes. we know what we're doing next week. Exactly, basically all week. Right. And Literally the internet broke in the process with this news. Shane Dawson was trending. We got a lot of reveals, you know, teasers mm -hmm. in, in the trailer. We know that uh, we're getting a more behind the scenes look at Jeffrey's life. And Shane's life. And yeah. Shane's life. But one of the things that a lot of people were also talking about on Twitter is that 
how this upcoming series might be making James Charles feel because he yeah. was in the trailer. Him and Tati, mm -hmm. and like you saw their emotional reactions. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to see how much they cover in that and see yeah. their reactions. And what they say, mm -hmm. and also Twitter. You guys on Twitter had a lot to say about seeing James in the trailer. And a lot of you were also theorizing on how you think maybe James is feeling right mm -hmm. now after seeing that. So there was a lot of tweets about this. First of all, James Charles when he sees Shane Dawson's new trailer. Or this person who shared this video and said, James Charles after just recovering from the drama and seeing his face in the Shane Dawson docuseries trailer. And this person who shared this clip of Wendy saying, James Charles realizing that he's about to relive drama getting to all over again after watching the Shane Dawson trailer. Poor James, we don't know how he's feeling right now. I hope he isn't feeling too bad, but it must be pretty stressful to know that all of that is gonna kind of get brought to the surface again, yeah. you know, through this, well, we think, we don't really know what the series is gonna show. Yeah, I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but I'm, Pretty sure we're probably gonna get some type of response from him or people around him. But moving on, guys, if you watched last week's episode, we told you that there was something special we were doing if you left a certain emoji in the comment section. Mm -hmm. And we went through the comment section. There was a lot of them, a you lot. guys. I'm a lot. I've gotta say, yeah. it made me so happy seeing how many of you watch the show and you actually like get through the show mm -hmm. because you left the peach emoji, yeah. which meant that you'd. you'd you'd known about the giveaway, <laughs> and it just made me really emotional. We picked our promise. winner though, We've or winners, two, two winners. winners. Yeah, so uh, make sure you, you pay attention to your comments to see if that's you. Speaking of secret emojis, like I said, it got me really emotional and in my feelings. How about you guys? watching the video so we've got a secret emoji somewhere on set right now as we speak if you pay close attention mm -hmm. um, yeah we do have a secret emoji somewhere if you see the secret emoji I want you to include it in a comment or just include it as a comment we don't have a prize today we're gonna do giveaways again really really soon so stay tuned for that actually let us know which youtubers merch you'd like us to give away in the comment section but also Look out for the secret emoji and see if you see the secret emoji. But you guys, it's time for our fire round of some of the bang, bang, bang things you need to know before mm -hmm. the week is over. Like this week, Miley and Caitlyn split. News came out that they're no longer together, but they yeah. are still good friends and they're still there for each other. As well for Miley, she had quite a busy week. She's been in Utah with her family, with her sister and her mom on vacation. But that's not all. Beyonce shared personal pics from Blue Ivy's seventh birthday. She's also in like a legal battle over Blue Ivy, not like Blue Ivy, her daughter, but the name Blue Ivy, and she's trying to trademark Blue Ivy Carter. And then there's this wedding planner. It's it's a lot, but we talked about it earlier in the week and it was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. You know what else was crazy? Jordan Wood celebrated her 22nd birthday and literally broke the internet with her twerking. <laughs> I wanna like slap your ass. Can I say that? I can't Susan's say that. has been cursing, man, I'm ass, telling you. Ass is not cursing. Ass is not. <laughs> Girl can twerk. Yeah, she literally broke the internet. She was trending on Twitter and uh, happy birthday from us, Jordan. Yes, but uh, I guess we have to talk about, well, we don't have to, but this also happened this week. Her former friend Kylie Jenner was hospitalized this week with a really sick flu-like illness. Yeah, so we hope she's feeling better really, really soon. Yeah, but what's happening next week, Susan? Woo, next week's a big one. So um, October the 3rd is Mean Girls Day. Ah, On Wednesdays, we wear pink. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Oh. In my head, I was just thinking of all the quotes. I, I have so many quotes, but then like, it's, if I go down the list, it's like, it starts with a trail. Oh my, she goes, I was home, shut up. And but see. Like, I didn't say anything. Shut up. I can't say my favorite one because it's like, I can't help it that I have a boop boop and a wide set boop. Oh. Okay. We've also got a lot of shows premiering this week. So Simpsons is coming back, Family Guy, Shark Tank, they're all premiering on Sunday. Yeah, but guys, we have so many birthdays next week, including Maddie Ziegler, Jacob Sartorius, Zach Galifianakis, Ezra Miller, and Brie Larson. Big birthday week. Big birthday week. Big birthday week. But this has been a big week. So thank you so much for joining us again on the Celebrity Lowdown. We hope you really enjoyed the show show and having the boys with us as well like yeah. honestly it's been so much fun we're gonna get a lot more guests on the show and wait susan next week is october which means it's halloween Ooh. month which means eventually we'll get to wear costumes yay maybe we should just wear costumes every weekend well, for every saturday in october well, i mean if clever's buying the costumes i'm down i'm down i'm down but uh thanks for joining us don't forget the secret <laughs> emoji thanks for hanging out guys leave us comments do all the things and i uh, will see you next week bye bye, bye. but guys wait Wait, no, seriously, wait. Just click right over here and watch last week's episode of Celebrity Lowdown. Oh, it's such a good episode. And also, you guys, you need to subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you waiting for? Really? Like, no, honestly, like, really, what are you waiting for?
hit that button.